Hi, Agent Maxine here. We're at the Beatrice Public Library again. And we're showing the new exhibit they've got on, di on display. And it's called Artists in Plain Sight. Because the artists are all the people who work here. And they're very talented. We really love this one. Yeah, you know, it's like the Michelangelo painting, but with like stripes and stuff. You know, and over here in a display case is some, um, you know, like Native American artwork, and it even shows how she does it. It's so pretty, but not as pretty as my pretty, pretty picture. All right. And over here is some more of her work, you yeah. know? And she does really good work. Yes, she does. Dave, you stay out of the picture. Watch out for the reflection. You know, you're, you're a happy, you're a pretty good cameraman, but you know, you, you tend to get in the reflection. Yeah. I really like the brooch. So look how pretty that would look in my hair. Oh well. And I think that one blinked at me. And she not only does jewelry, but look at this. That same lady did these dream catchers. I hope they caught only pleasant or only bad dreams so that, see that's what a dream catcher does. It catches bad dreams so that only good dreams come through. And she quills. Oh my friend is it, going to be so jealous. Yeah she is. Look at how big it is. And how pretty! And she even makes little bitty quills. And here's a little bitty picture. It's Maxine size. <laughs> and we got another big quilt here. And guess what? Look who it's by. Yeah! And got, look at all the horsies. We love horsies. We still need to get Kenny Winkin later on this channel. You know? Having a great artist in the family, you know, you think they would be able to get him here, but yeah, not yet. See? This goes to show you that anything can be art. Even though it's a hat and a purse, alright, it's still art. You know, like Warhol used to do the painting of the can of soup, and now that can of soup's worth over a million dollars? Can you believe it? Yeah. And yeah, this is who that's by. And this is by Joanne. We know who Joanne is. Yeah. <laughs> and she kind of runs this place, sort of. Her and uh, another lady. And she's a, she does very, I mean, this is like a fantastic representation of conceptual art or what you would call uh, abstract. It's an abstractity and this is a realism. And this is a quilt. <laughs> See, Agent Maxine does know a couple of things, she thinks, but she's not sure. <laughs> you know, Dave's not the sharpest tool in the shed. And here's another quilt. And although she didn't put her name by it, 
We know that this one is the same cat lady who made that one. And this is her literary side, you know. Like, like, I don't know if you can read it, but uh, let's zoom in here. All right, like little women, and, you know. Well, you know, she does fantastic conceptual art. Yeah, she does. All right, and we got another quill. You know, people love to make quills because they keep you warm. And finally, we come to this one. All right. Now, remember, anything can be art. Because this one, I'm telling you. Strong was the dark one this 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 one is. That's because they've got cookies. Ha <laughs> Well, we hope you've enjoyed it. And this is Agent Maxine from the Beatrice Public Library saying this has been a lot of fun with Agent Maxine. So be sure to like, share, subscribe, and help Dave out. Because he's at the Beatrice Public Library looking at a lot of pretty things and talking to a puppet.